commander deck. What? We have the good old Ur Dragon Draconic Domination. I'll probably end up giving this away to somebody at random. The Ur Dragon legendary creature, like the oversized foliage there on the front. These are pretty nasty. All right, so these packs over here, I'm going to give these away to three lucky SOBs. I'll announce it randomly in the video. But it's going to be, I'm going to give these to one person, it's to keep it simple for myself, these to one person, and these to the other person. And we'll go over that in a minute. Let's get down to breaking this shit apart. Let's bust some shit open. Welcome back to the channel, guys. I have missed your beautiful faces. Oh, that was extreme hardcore right there. That's a big card, Jelly Moth. Why is it so big? Oh, look at that nastiness. Get the shiny. I'm trying not, I'm trying to keep this actually under 15 minutes. We'll see how it goes. You know, I don't think I've ever purchased um, one of these off the shelf anywhere other than getting them in Walmart, uh, Walmart cubes. So this is going to be a first experience for not only me, but also for some of you. Let's correct that camera, shall we? Sometimes we're visually impaired. My apologies to anyone who suffers from anything of that nature. So it comes with one of these. Ooh, is it a big something? It's a big something. Look at this. Look at this big something. Oh, that's pretty cool. The Ur-Dragon Progenitor of Fire. Progenitor? Progenitor. Progenitals. Bad genitals. Creams. All right. So that's cool. I'm not going to give that away. I'm just going to hang on to that. And it's an empty pack. An empty box. Yeah. Let's see what all is up inside here. I think I have about a thousand of these. I'm not even kidding. It's not an understatement. That is a true accurate number. A fair assessment to say the least. All right. This is going to be cool. So I guess MJ Holdings, they wrap them differently. I mean, they haven't done 2017. Obviously, it just came out. They couldn't do it with the cubes, but... This is uh this is 2017 as you can see there's none of that like gold strip on it. I know if you look at my videos the Walmart cube playlist uh, there's like 18 cubes up there that I opened. S I think 16 of which had commander decks. One had an all freaking foil deck which was stupid sick. Um again check out the playlist. Maybe I'll add like an annotation. I never do annotations. Maybe I should do that. I'm not going to get too in depth with this. Because, again, I don't want the video to run way too freaking long. But I'm going to put these cards off of the camera. And we're going to focus. Actually, that's stupid. I talk too much. All right. Boosh! Is that focus there? Hell yeah. So we got the Ur-Dragon. One nasty freaking dragon. Requires five mana of all colors and four colorless. I'm sure that people have done all this already. Oh, wow. They're all They're all foil. They're all freaking foil. That gives me a rager. Um, I'm sure a lot of people have already done this. So, I'm, oh, that is so freaking cool. Look at that artwork, though. I actually picked this one up from Walmart. Straight up, playa. Straight up. I walked up in Walmart and I'm like, yo, give me some of that shit. And they're like, okay, here you go, sir. You can have one right now. There you go. And I'm like, oh, appreciate that, man. You guys are the shit. And that's how it went down. Now we have, um, I, I'm doing this because I'm going to build my own commander deck. And I need more ideas. That's where you guys all come into play. This is a really good freaking dragon. Um, gold, gold, gold for days. Cat dragon. Meow, I never even know that was happening. Well, how would how would a cat dragon sound? It'd be like. Meow, I mean, I, I don't know. It was a valid effort on my part. All right, I gave it a whirl. We got some more gold, man. Got some gold in the grill. You dig, you dig, you dig. Curse of verbosity. I can't wait for cubes next year or the year after and I freaking pull one of these, I'll be like, dope, straight dope. It's going to happen. And man, I've been eyeballing the cubes. Uh, I, I, I frequent the good old Walmarts. And I guess there's like four other stores that actually sell the Walmart or that sell the cubes by MJ Holdings. Heads up. You didn't know that. Now you do. Go to MJ Holdings website. That's actually not a bad card. And you can see for yourself what those stores are. And you can run out and see if they got them there. I just don't have any by me. 
I know they have Toys R Us listed, but I think it's for a different product. Because I went in a uh, one Toys R Us. Nada. No cubage. Savage Ventmaw. So, wow, that went down to an uncommon. You would do that to me, Commander. Magic's always changing up the game. You guys ever notice that? Dark Steel Ign Ingot. Dreamstone Hedron. It had three colorless to your mana pool. Holy shit. There's so much new stuff up in here. That's a good card. That's an uncommon now. It's weird. It used to be a rare. Oh, you stayed a common. Good for you. Soul Ring. Baby, I love you to pieces. Wow, they really made this weird. Like, it's. Why were there mountains randomly inserted there? Fortunate few. Uh, choose a nine land permanent you don't control. Then each other player chooses a nine land permanent he or she doesn't control. That hasn't been chosen this way. Destroy all other nine land permanents. I'm thinking about running three or four colors in my deck, guys, um, for my dragon EDH deck. So, and there's no budget. Keep that in mind, but I'm not going to get crazy. And if someone says, oh, man, you should totally have like a Black Lotus in there. That's probably banned, by the way. Uh, I'm not going to go out and spend 5000 bucks to get a Black Lotus. But, I mean, I'm willing to spend a little bit on a few singles here and there. So keep that in mind. Boneyard Scourge, because I'm not doing budget on it. Same with the Angel deck. You guys should, I swear, you're going to be seeing that Angel deck, hopefully, within the next, I'd say, two or three days. It should drop. I don't want it to be later than Tuesday. Wednesday, absolute latest. That's a nice little cat dragon. Meow, pussy scratch. Ah, oh, sweet ass freaking dragon. Love him. I already got one though. Flying when Ryukai. Ryukin! Ryuk! I, I, I tried, I tried, I tried. Uh, who says that, by the way? Go! The falling star dies. It deals five damage to each creature without flying. That's brutal board wiping right there. Scourge of Valkus, another great card. Another awesome freaking dragon. No wonder why this deck's worth so much. Whenever a dragon you control attacks, create a 6-6 red dragon creature token with a flying. That is stupid freaking overpowering. Just letting you know. Give that thing, like, protection or some shit and just go to freaking town. And then, like, use one of those cards that creates an additional combat phase. Oh, my God. Mo murder, mo. Sun Scorch Regent. Mon Monastery Siege. I remember getting that, and I was like, this card's actually not that bad. Crux of Fate. That is a necessity in any Dragon EDH deck. In any Dragon deck, period, I believe. Deathbringer of the Regent. Painful Truths. I love how they change the artwork on shit. That's really cool. Palace Siege. That looks like almost like the same. I could be sadly mistaken. Crucible of Fire. Awesome card. Dragon Tempest, love it. I actually had a dragon deck. I ran four of these sons of guns in it. It was actually really effective, but it was just casual play. I was cheating shit in left and right. It was ridiculous. I wanted to make a pun there on the cheating part, but I'm like, nah, I'm going to stay out of that. Hellkite Charger, Tyrant's Familiar, Flying Haste, Lieutenant. As long as you control your commander, Tyrant's Familiar gets plus two, plus two, and has whenever Tyrant's Familiar attacks, it deals seven damage to target creature defending player controls. Damn, they've really freaking made these decks strong as Oh, let's get down to some shit, shall we? So, I'll just do an order. I don't really care. There's my order. I'm just dropping them down. I need these three people because they are always commenting. They, they won for different reasons, okay? Either they're always commenting and liking the videos, or they're sharing the videos on Reddit or on Facebook. And I've seen this. I'm a witness. Or they, uh, no, that's really about it. it, it it's, pff, that's about it, guys. There's, there's, there's not much to it, okay? Two of them fell into one of those categories, and one fell into the other. Let's just go, I'm going to do Brian Stanley. Congratulations, sir. And then I'll announce the next one when we get to that one. Oh, my God, the suspense is killing me. All right. Good luck, Mr. Stanley, sir. You've been commenting forever, dude. I think you may be a patron. I'm not even sure. But... I just, what I do, I go over my comments. Um, I sit there for about maybe a half hour, and I just see, okay, who's commenting really on every single freaking video, and it's relevant conversation. And that's how I choose who freaking wins. Now you know. Let's sh speed this up, shall we? Mr. Stanley, as you know how my giveaways work, I'm not going to send you any comments. I'm not even going to send you uncommons unless there were something. But rares, sir. Smoldering abomination. You are definitely going to get that. Sorry, I'm all over the place. Florida Island, I'll send that as well. Dragon token. Better believe I'm going to send you that. That's probably a buck or two. Some tokens, guys, they, they go up, man. They, they freaking spike. 
Uh, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna do it right now. Because we pulled a full art, just for the hell of it, I'm gonna sign this for you, pal. Oh, shit balls. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Joey, what did you do? You left the crayon sharpener in the threshold and it's not sharpened. Party foul, sir, party foul. All right, damn it, I need a freaking new marker. Oh, ball sweats. Uh, shit happens, guys. He's got to roll with it. All right. Darwin. You know what I'm saying? How about blue on blue? You dig it? Island for an island. That could be considered an error. I'll even write it. Error. Error up in this piece. Error! Let's make it a one of one because it's an error. Because I have gold up on that. Congrats to you, Mr. Stanley! I like serial numbering stuff, okay? It is what it is. I used to collect football cards. I actually still have quite a collection. And I'm like, you know what? Oh my god. Football cards are serial numbered. These guys are freaking dope. And I wanted to collect the ones that were really like low serial numbered. It's so only like five of them existed, ten of them existed. I thought that was really freaking cool. That'd be awesome if they did about magic cards. Like, if they re-release, like, a Black Lotus or something, Lumbering Falls enters the battlefield tapped, add a island or a forest to your mana pool. For four, Lumbering Falls becomes a 3-3 green and blue elemental creature with hexproof until end of turn. It's still a land. Yeah, if they reintroduced an emblem token... You didn't do too bad there, dude. I'm going to send you this, 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 this. Boom. So you're getting all of this nasty sauce. I'm going to write this down right now. I appreciate you guys sticking about while I go through shenanigans like usual. But this way, I shall know. Boosh, boosh, Dan Bach, you're the shit, bro. Shout out to Dan Bach at Power 9. Just saying. He's one of my homies. He's one of my brothers from another mother, man. Not really. We're not that close. I, I swear. We've only had a few conversations, but they've been fun. Okay. So we have Brian Stanley. So kudos to you, sir. Don't worry. I'll speed up these last two. I'm not going to dilly dick wag the whole time. All right. Mr. Stanley. That's a cool little, uh, little, little package you got going on here, sir. Hopefully all this fits in there. I don't freaking know. No, sir. Don't damage me. Oh, my token. Oh, perfect. Look at that. Slid right in. If the glove fits, you must have, must have quit. I said that wrong. If it fits, you must have quit. I don't know. O.J. Simpson. I don't freaking know. I have no opinion on that whatsoever. Moving forward. I just remember the expression. All right. We have... Who is lucky number deuce? Jack of all trades, playa. I always see you in the comment section, my homie. And I appreciate that. And it's always relevant. They're not saying, hi, I like you. Oh, yeah, by the way, no one has correctly guessed... The uh, the cube giveaway for the Amon Kit pack and two others. I'm just going to go with the first person who guesses it is going to get uh, the two booster packs and the uh, special Amon Kit standard showdown. That's what's going to go down. Bygone Bishop, all up in your face. So there you go, Mr. Jack of all trades. Solitary Hunter. You know, we were growing a little something there, and then it all faded away. I thought we were going to get something, uh, at least a foil, I don't know. All right, Jack of all trades, good luck to you, sir. Let's pull something stupid. I don't think I pulled anything good out of these packs yet, so. Port Town. What up, Port Town? All up in you. Dual lands are awesome. As Port Town enters the battlefield, you may reveal a plains or island card from your hand. If you don't, Port Town enters the battlefield tapped. We got a foil for that ass. Congrats, homie. Boosh! Confirm suspicions. Rare foil. That's dope. Hell yeah, counter target spell, investigate three times. Tough casting cost, but nonetheless, not a bad card, and it's a foil. Might be a buck, 50 cents. Someone's like, no, Joey Moss, it's it's not even in a penny gumball machine. Who the hell remembers penny gumball machines? Wasn't that something? Isn't that something? All right, that's going off to the side. Boosh. Skadoosh, skadoosh. All my skadoosh and ninjas out there. I love when you guys hit that like button. Of course. I love when you share videos, because that really helps. And when you share it, I mean... I've picked, I think, about shit. Probably 70 to 80 winners. 
if someone really wants to go back and do all the research on it. This is going out to MTG Nerd. I have ADHD. Deal with it, all right? MTG Nerd, homie, congratulations. I see you always share my stuff, and you even share it in Facebook groups, which is freaking awesome, dude. Heart Piercer Manticore, there you go. That's a nice way to get the day started up in here. And then we got a mountain and a worm token. And a worm token. That worm token might be worth something. I'll sign the basic freaking land for you, playa playa. If only I had a red marker. I don't have a red marker, but I have an orange one. I don't even know if that's gonna look right. Whatever, we're taking a risk here. Let's go, roll with it. I think it'd be badass if I was like at a random event you know, random Watsy event, and I just came across someone using a deck and they had like this in it. I'd be like, bro, homie, gee, dude, let's go chat. That's freaking badass. Thank you. <laughs> I'd be kissing some ass for real, for real. All right, so this is going out to you, sir. You, sir, MTG nerd. Congrats, man. This is all getting kicked to the curb. Curbage, curb stop, curb stop. Don't ever curb stop someone, it's not good. Uh, this also went with Brian Stanley, I believe. I will go over it again in a little bit. Don't you worry. I'm in catch pack. Everyone's like, dude, it's taking you like an hour to open six booster packs. Are you, are you handicapped? And I'll be like, yeah, kind of. I, I have a learning disability. Thanks, guys, for being mean. Boom! Fuck yeah! That's what I'm saying. Look at that nasty shit. Goat dicks for days. Bond to the glorified frickin' mythic. Congratulations, nerd. For real, though. MTG nerd. Cursed Minotaur foil. Damn, man. And a full art. That is dopamine. Uh, the second dude who won. Jack of all trades. I'll sign one of your cards at random also. Well, it won't be a foil. Or I'll just throw in like a full art for the hell of it for you, man. Because I appreciate what you do. Awesome. All this shit's going out to you. Congrats, man. That's a nice little pool. That is a nice little pool. All right. Let me just write Jack of All Trades on this. Well, not Jack of All Trades. MTG Nerd. See? I almost butchered it. Almost butchered it. Congrats to you, sir. Let's finish up this deck. Let's finish up the deck. I want to do this like every Saturday. I I've, I skip a Saturday here and there, but then I make up for it in the live streams. I don't know if you guys are aware of that or not, but I do. All right, let's finish this up. And I give away free shit in live streams. So if you ever see me live streaming, you know what's up. I'm surprised I didn't put him to an uncommon because he did it to the other guy. Oh, wait, wait. He is an uncommon. Up oh, for everyone who was triggered. I just owned you. Ooh, giggity. All right, Atarka World Render. Oh, Blade Wing the Ryzen. It's it's risen, stupid. Uh, for seven, legendary creature, zombie dragon. Dope. When Blade Wing the uh, the risen uh, enters the battlefield, you may return target. I swear my house is haunted. Return target dragon permanent card from your graveyard to the battlefield. Reduce dragon creatures to get plus one plus one to one turn. Awesome freaking commander. Broodmate Dragon. Awesome card. Croesus the Perjurer. I like that artwork. Get a load of that shit. I want to see that in foil. Anything that has lightning in the background, I think is just godly. Damn, Dramaka the Eternal's up in here too? There's a lot of good dragons in here. This deck's probably going to shoot up to like 70 bucks, but then they're going to reprint it in like two months. Another decent card. They're going to reprint it in two months, and you know what's going to happen? The price is going to drop. The price is going to plummet back down to like 35, 40 bucks. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. Scion of the Ur Dragon. Silumgar, the Drifting Death. Spellbound Dragon. Whenever Spellbound Dragon attacks, draw a card, then discard a card. Spellbound Dragon gets plus X plus zero until end of turn, where X is the discarded cards converted mana cost. I want uh, everyone to tell me. Teneb, the Harvester. What's his birth date? Tell me his birth date right now. Um, let me know what are must-haves. If you can name two absolute must-haves in a Dragon EDH Commander deck. Yes, I'm a noob when it comes to building Commander decks, so I need your guys' help. Not gonna lie. Ain't got a lot of kick at playa. Two must-haves in a Dragon EDH Commander deck. Let me know. And who can tell me what EDH stands for? I know. Do you? 
I bet a lot of you don't. Steel Hellkite, Crucible of the Spirit Dragon, Haven of the Spirit Dragon, and we got probably a bunch of forests and mountains and islands to finish her off. We got some Olandies here. Path of Ancestry, Arcane Sanctum, Command Tower, Crumbling Necropolis, Frontier Biovac, Jungle Shrine, Mystic Monastery, Nomad Outpost, Ambulant Palace. I gotta wash my car. Stand Steep, Sand Steep Citadel, Savage Lands. Oh, I used to, oh man, there's there's some savage some savage people out there. Let me tell you guys. Seaside Citadel, Vivid Crag, Vivid Creek, Vivid Grove, Vivid Marsh, Vivid Meadow. No way, mind blown. I definitely had fun. Obviously, I'm gonna pay more attention to this after this video. I'm definitely gonna give it uh, another once over. But I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Hit that like button, helps out a lot. And uh, yeah, I'll probably give this away to somebody. Why the hell not? So keep that in mind. I will give this away to someone. Uh, like, you have to be subscribed. Like this video and share it. And you have to comment. Comment below and I will choose one person at random. I want you to tell me why I want you to tell me why if you play commander okay I would just tell me a story about commander period end of story don't make it a book keep it under like two or three sentences just tell me a story about commander I'm gonna read over them I'll probably sit there with my son and uh, we'll pick one out together whoever guesses it correct is gonna get this nasty card I'll make sure it arrives to you safe and sound all right make sure you share like and subscribe and you're getting it Love you guys. See ya. Peace, love, and anal.